What's up, YouTube? It's ICU. I hope all of you are having a wonderful holiday time, and today I want to talk to you guys about iOS 13, jailbreaking A12, and A13. I also want to clear up some misconceptions that are going on right now pertaining to one tweet in particular. So this actually builds on what I talked about in my very recent video on TFP0, so definitely be sure to check that out. It will be linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. We basically talked about how a Twitter user was able to achieve TFP0 patch on an A12 device, being the iPhone XS Max on iOS 13.3. Now, before we really get too into this, I want to clarify one very important thing. A TFP0 patch basically means that you have read and write access to the kernel's memory space. That is what it is in essence. And also, it is definitely a prerequisite or basically a precursor, if you will, to achieving full read and write for the kernel. So that is what a jailbreak requires, and it is not in itself a full-fledged jailbreak, a TFP0 patch. Do not get it confused. Again, for the full breakdown of exactly what it is, and I go into so much more depth, check out that video I referenced earlier. So let's go ahead and launch up Twitter now. We're navigating over to Hacker IB Sparks Twitter account, and yesterday he tweeted out the following screenshot. It's basically just a terminal or a command line interface right here showing a device that he's connected to essentially being exploited and applying that TFP0 patch we talked about just a second earlier. Now, if we look at the kernel version here, this does in fact confirm that this is an A13 powered iPhone running iOS 13.3. And then we of course see that the TFP0 patch has been applied. Now this tweet is very, very similar and highly reminiscent to one that he actually pushed out just a few short hours after the A13 powered devices were released on September 20th. The difference here between these two really obviously other than the one issued in September being on the release version of iOS 13 is the fact that he specified TFP0 in under three minutes and this tweet that he posted out just yesterday he accompanied it with the text hacked so yes he has in fact hacked a13 on ios 13.3 but do not get it confused tfp0 again i will state this one last time is not the same as a full-fledged jailbreak he has not completed a full jailbreak on a13 on ios 13.3 and for that reason I highly recommend that you do not upgrade to iOS 13.3. I know that this video will get flooded in the comments section asking whether or not you can upgrade to iOS 13.3. And even though I specified in the last video not to update, and I'm also saying it here now, I'm still going to get those comments. But again, do not update to iOS 13.3 because iOS 13.3 itself closes two key kernel vulnerabilities that have the potential to lead to a jailbreak. Again, TFP0 is not the same kernel vulnerability that is required to develop a kernel exploit, a primary one that will be the core foundation of a jailbreak. So that's what I wanted to say in today's video. Of course, he also followed it up by once again confirming that this is iOS 13.3 and A13, but we could have gleaned that from the identifier that we mentioned earlier. So that's the news today. Very fantastic stuff. It builds on what we actually talked about in the last video because that one was a TFP0 patch on A12. This is A13, so the newer devices. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not trying to discount anything that IB Sparks has done. It's fantastic. It's a proof of concept that it is possible on A13 on iOS 13.3. And this is just me recommending that you guys stay as low as possible as well and that you exercise patience because this does not mean that a jailbreak is coming for iOS 13.3, just that it is possible for a TFP0 patch on 13.3 and therefore it will also be possible obviously on all lower firmwares as well for A13 devices and that would also include A12 and below too. So I hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully we're going to get some more holiday surprises soon. So be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.